Now, if you think that Kenny Anderson has been waiting a long time, and if you think that Kenny Anderson must be feeling a little bit sick today, I'm going to speak now to a man who's been the leading contender for the WBC light welterweight title. Well, for at least for two and a half, maybe even longer, maybe even three years. The kind of guy that Mickey Duff uh, used to call, um, well, used to say, used to say about fighters like this, who wants him? And he is, he's the, you know, if he's not the chairman of the Who Wants Him Club, <coughs> he's the president of the Who Wants Him Club. I'm talking about a guy who used to box here in Britain, who used to box out of St Pancras when he was living in London. I'm talking about uh, Josie Alusigan, who is out, I think he's in New York at the moment, and um, he's still waiting for a title fight at least two years after he should have had it. And I'm delighted to say that a Josie joins me on the line now from New York. Good evening, or good afternoon, a Josie. Good afternoon. How are you I'm, doing, man? I'm doing fantastic, boss. A Josie, can you tell me, are you any nearer to finally getting a world title fight? Well, I think I'm very, very close now. You know, uh, it's a matter of just uh, waiting for, uh, for about, uh, about a month. Uh, Morales is fighting Danny Garcia, and the winner of that bout has to fight me. So that's what I'm waiting for right now. Uh, and and you've, been, you've been told that? Jose Suleiman has told you that? That's going to happen? Yes, yes. Uh, actually, that was, the, that was the decision of the uh, WBC Board of Governors. Mm -hmm. uh, they moved the motion, uh, and everybody, it was unanimous, everybody voted in my favor that the winner has to fight me. You know, they agreed that I've been, you know, I've been waiting for too long. They kept me waiting for too long. Uh, I've been number one for like three years. They three knew that. Years. So they agreed that now the winner has to fight me. I'm not just the number one contender. I am the mandatory challenger. So uh, the winner of the Morales fight uh, against Garcia has to fight me. Or relinquish the title. Because, you know, as I, I thought it was two and a half, it's been three years. You're unbeaten in 30. You must have felt, Josie, some at points in the last two years or so, you must have felt so frustrated that you wanted to just walk away from the sport. Yeah, so yes, you know, I, I got close to retiring because, you know, it, it's really frustrating uh, when, you, when you know what you deserve and you're not getting what you deserve. You know, I don't mind this guy beating me. You know, just show me, just show me you're better than I am. Yeah. You know, I want, just fight me, show me you're better than I am and beat me up, no problem. Yes. But this is what I do. I'm a boxer and I want to box. I want to box against the best in the world because I believe I'm better than the, than the best in the world. So not being given the opportunity is very, very uh, frustrating. But... Yeah. Thank God I didn't give up. Uh, hopefully I will get my shot now. Yeah, thank God you didn't give up. And hopefully you will at some point in the near future get your shot. The thank winner you. of the Morales and Garcia fight, if I'm not mistaken. Will you actually go and watch that fight? Will you try and get to ringside? Yes, I'm trying to go, I'm, I'm trying to go and get that fight. Uh, hopefully, the fight is in Texas, so yep. surely I'll be there. Yeah. Now, uh, 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 I'll be there, I'll even call them out. Yeah, of course, that makes sense. And Josie, are you, are you based in New York now or are you still based in London and New York? What you, you know, where, where, where's home for a Josie right now? Right now, home for a Josie is in New York. Okay. Well, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm still, London is still part of me. Every time I get the opportunity, I still go to London, you know, you know tra train in uh, North Finchley, train with Don Charles in North, uh, North Finchley. So, you know, London is always going to be part of me. London is going to always be home for me. Uh, but right now, I live. I live most. Uh, I spend most of my time in New York. Well, let, let's hope, Josie, that at some point in the next six months, uh, you get a world title fight. Because I, I, I'm getting sick and tired of having you on the show talking about how you haven't got a fight. I want to get you on the show one day, and we can celebrate you getting a fight. Absolutely. You know, I promise, man. I win a world title. You invite me. I will come. It's a promise. Uh, listen, I will not only will I will I get you on this an open invitation for you. And Josie Alusigan, good luck and we'll speak to you very soon. Thank you so much, brother. No, thank you, brother. He has had a hard time, you know. If you want to hit read, I'm told uh, there's an interview going on to uh, Boxing Scene. Terry Dooley, the excellent uh, web writer Terry Dooley, has done something with uh, Kenny Anderson, which will be going on Boxing Scene. Hopefully, uh, George Groves... Uh, we'll put something similarly out as soon as possible. Keep your emails coming in. It's quite simple. You send them into um, 
bunts at boxnation.com. Or you can tweet me, it's quite simple. It's uh, at Big Daddy Bunts, okay? And what happened with the tweet? And it's quite interesting, the tweet. Now, if you contacted me, I don't know, a couple of months ago when we used to run that underneath, I wasn't in charge of my tweets. I took them over about two weeks ago. It just seemed to make sense. It just meant it just meant that I, kn that I knew what was going on. And since then, you know, I'm actually working and talking two different people in boxing. Now, now at the weekend, I'm not going to show you this tonight, I don't think, but at the weekend, you can... <laughs> well, at the weekend... Um, we had a great fight here through the middle of the night. Duke McKenzie was here. One or two people asking if Duke McKenzie was wearing his pyjamas because it was through the night. Now, it wasn't through the... It wasn't, it wasn't because he was in pyjamas. It was because he thought he was going to be doing a commentary. When he got here, we stuck him in the studio. Now, this is a fight, a rematch. It took place in Puerto Rico last weekend between the champion Salido from Mexico City against the one-time... But at this time, slightly crushed hero, Juanama Lopez. Lopez going for that heroic status. Salido going for a repeat win. We pick it up in round nine. And I'm telling you, for the next four and a half minutes, do not blink. You'll love this. Well, that was special, wasn't it? I'd love to have been up watching that live. I watched it again, but I couldn't watch it live. Uh, boxing banter on... Um, on Twitter has sent a fantastic tweet and he says, Bunsey, you need to do your show in black and white like Carpenter did. It shaves pounds off you. See? There was, see, there was no need for that really, was there? Thank you very much.